Prayer for God Protection Father God, today I am coming into your holy presence to kindly ask you for your mighty protection, because there are so many evil powers in this world destroying people's lives. So I am requesting for your powerful protection, and please guide my steps into secure paths. Make your holy presence be permanent in my life. Please guard my home, family and job. Make your holy covering be upon me and my family. Let not any evil doers approach me, nor my family and home. Make us to be prepared for every day. Protect our bodies, minds and hearts, thoughts and feelings, souls and spirits. Please be present in all our journeys and please surround us with your divine hedge of protection. My almighty Father God, I kindly ask you to please protect our minds and hearts, make our thoughts to think in the spirit, and not in the flesh, as Romans 8, 6 proclaims, the mind governed by the flesh is death, but the mind governed by the spirit, is life and peace. Please renew our minds in your holiness, as Romans 12, 2 states, Do not conform to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Please make our hearts to feel in the spirit, and not in the flesh. Renew our hearts in your goodness. Strengthen us in the power of your might. Make your holy will be done in our lives. Dress us in your holy armor so that we can stand firm against the schemes of the devil, because it is written, Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. Put on the full armor of God, so that you can take your stand against the devil's schemes. For our struggle is not against flesh and blood, but against the rulers, against the authorities, against the powers of this dark world, and against the spiritual forces of evil in the heavenly realms. Ephesians 6 10 to 12. My holy mighty Lord, you are my keeper, my strong rock, source of all my needs, my refuge, my strength, as second of Thessalonians 3, 3 states, but the Lord is faithful, and he will strengthen you, and protect you from the evil one. And as Psalm 46, one proclaims, God is our refuge and strength, and ever present help in trouble. My holy almighty God, you are my deliverer, as Matthew 6.13 states, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from the evil one. Please my Lord God of hosts, give us your mighty peace, to guard our hearts and minds, as Philippians 4. 7 states, and the peace of God, which passeth all understanding, shall keep your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. My trust is in you, my holy mighty God, as second of Thessalonians 3, 3 proclaims, but the Lord is faithful, who shall establish you, and keep you from evil, and as second of Timothy 4, 18 proclaims, and the Lord shall deliver me, from every evil work, and will preserve me unto his heavenly kingdom. My Lord God, your promise is with us, we are in your holy mighty hand, as John 10 27 to 28 states, My sheep hear my voice, and I know them, and they follow me, and I give unto them eternal life. And they shall never perish, neither shall any man pluck them out of my hand. Holy Father God, I know that evil cannot stand its opposite, like darkness cannot stand light. In the same way, evil cannot stand holiness, evil cannot even exist in the presence of holiness. Holiness is the opposite of evil, and therefore holiness in our Lord, has total power and authority over evil powers. So I kindly ask you, to give me holy thoughts, to have a holy mind, to behave well and be holy. I do acknowledge that your children must be holy, as Father God is holy, as proclaimed on Hebrews 12 14, follow peace with all men, and holiness, without which no man shall see the Lord. It is through holiness, 
that the Spirit of our Lord Jesus can live in our hearts, and through holiness, that the Holy Spirit can live within our bodies, so this says the Lord of hosts, Be holy, because I am holy. 1 Peter 1.16 My almighty Lord of hosts, please make your holy angels to guard my life, family and home, renew our minds and hearts through the path of holiness, be the keeper of our thoughts, feelings and behavior, be your mighty covering upon us, and be your mighty light our guide. My Lord God Jesus, I give you my heart and all my being, I place my life, family, and salvation in your holy mighty hand, and please be your holy will be done in my life. Thank you so much my almighty holy God for all your help, for taking care of us, for your love and mercy, thank you for your holy divine Son Jesus our Savior, and for your Holy Spirit. I pray all of these in the mighty name of my Lord God and Savior Jesus Christ, Yeshua Hamaziak, Amen. EternalWord.org Powerful prayers for a better life. Like, share, comment and subscribe.